if you're in the market for a commuter segment motorcycle to get you off public transport and you're looking for something that's off the regular fare of Heroes and Hondas and not as commuter-ish, then you've probably reached the TVS Sport. And you're in luck because TVS have just updated it with a bigger motor and DS6 compliance and a few cosmetic tweaks. So let's take a closer look and see what it's really all about. Interestingly, despite the ground up mechanical overhaul, the TVS Sport gets only a few small tweaks to its visual presence. There's a slightly updated livery package along the tank and the panels, and the headlamps get a DRL, a segment first feature. There's some new colors to look forward to as well, but that's about it. Now, while the tweaks may be limited, they do their fair bit in ensuring that the new 2020 Sport stands apart from its predecessor. Mechanically though, TVS went back to the drawing board with the Sport BS6. Instead of going the easy way around and losing some of the Sport's urgent demeanor in the conversion to BS6, TVS decided to increase the displacement by 10 cubic centimeters and add in fuel injection as well for good measure. As a result, the Sport doesn't just get a small bump in power and torque, but also claims to be as much as 15% more efficient than its predecessor. To put that in figures, the new bike makes 8.17 bhp and 8.7 nm of torque from its 109.7 cc motor, where the older bike made 7.2 bhp and 7.5 nm of torque from its 99.7 cc mil. Out on the road though, the throttle response is notably improved with a strong mid to top end drive. Even at the Sport's claimed top speed of 90 km in the 4th gear, the Sport seems unstrained. Vibrations too are better contained, although some do begin to creep in at the bar ends as it reaches the top end of the power band. Ergonomically, the TVS Sport is still one of those easy-going commuters that you can ride all day and most importantly on any roads. Up front, conventional telescopic forks are paired with a properly raised handlebar set. Together, bad roads are easily conquered with very little restraint. At the back, a pair of preload adjustable springs do a decent job of damping the ride. The seat too is surprisingly plush. The perfect blend of firm and cushion keeps your posterior comfy no matter how long you ride. All put together, it's a pretty comfortable upright ride and in this segment, that's what really matters. Braking comes from a dual drum setup with a 130mm drum up front and a 110mm drum at the back, both connected through TVS's combined braking system. Braking response though leaves a little to be desired, you really have to slam down on the brake before the bike really comes into effect. At almost 59,000 rupees for this range topping self start alloy wheel version of the TVS Sport, it's about 8,000 rupees more expensive than its predecessor. Now that's a significant jump in the segment, but given the fact that there's an almost ground up mechanical overhaul, more power, and better efficiency, the TVS Sport does make a very strong case for itself. At about 59,000 X showroom for this top of the line alloy wheel self start model, the TVS Sport really makes a strong case for itself being more comfortable, smoother and probably more efficient than a lot of its competition. Not to mention the fact that it beats it on price point as well. We hope you enjoyed our review of the 2020 TVS Sport. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the Auto Today channel to never miss a beat on anything auto.